Remember, like, last week when no games came to the store? Yeah. And yeah. this week, a lot of games came to the store. It came all over the store. <laughs> this is <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> Gamescast will record every Tuesday afternoon at midnight, then we bring it to YouTube every Wednesday as this right here, the weekly wrap-up. You found it. Don't go anywhere. Put your feet up. Yep. Don't, Don't kill your pets. Up. It's mean. No. Told you once, told you a thousand times, leave Fluffy alone. Every Thursday is PlayStation VR. Yeah, it's hard. Every Friday is viewer takeover when we let you, the loyal game cats, take over the show. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. I was waiting for it, and you missed it. We let you, the loyal game cats, take over the show. When we let you, the loyal game cats, take over the show. Third time's a charm, every time. As always, my name is Brian Paul, and to my right, your left, the king of all VR kings, the king of the sofa kingdom, it's Jeremy King. Wow. How many times breath. can you say king? I want to say, I want to call him Jeremy Kingdom every time. It's King of the Sofa Kingdom, Jeremy Kingdom. Yeah. It's not, it's not, that's not we his could, name. You no. could change his name. Right. Yeah. My okay tombstone is going to be like quite a title to it. Your pizza? Huh. Is that what my tombstone's gonna be? A piece of pizza? That's what my tombstone's gonna be. Just pepperonis written it's out. It's also me. going to be the culprit, the the the, <laughs> sus, the main suspect in my death. Yeah, the, the pizza. You're gonna oh, turn geez. into it's pizza all connected. The hut. And to pizza my the left, hut. you're yes. right. Freaking space balls. The one, the only, Michelle Barracchione. Yay! Did I say it right? You did say it right this time. Yes. I said it like right before well, we started going. Like, still like can't just... say my name right. right. <laughs> still can't say my name right. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> You do, you always put like an A at the end. Fair Kion A. It's not. It's an E, bro. This it's is an E. <laughs> if this is your first time watching the Midnight Games Cast, know this. It's a conversational podcast. Why yes. are we telling you that? Because the number of times I have to tell people that every single week in the comments yes. is Insane. fucking ludicrous. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? You know what a conversational podcast is? It means we sit here and we have conversations and maybe eventually talk about video games. Yeah. So it takes us yeah. five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight goddamn, goddamn minutes, minutes to yep. get there most weeks. Sometimes, if you're lucky, even longer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I don't know. Most times. Let's, let's get some, let's yeah, get some housekeeping times. out of the way. Housekeeping? Why, why is the run of show like 15 pages? Oh, what are you doing? I dropped my water bottle. Can you reach it? He did. Yay. I reached it. You really, I'm gonna put it you really there. screwed with somebody last week when it wasn't red. I noticed that. Yeah. 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 Somebody's like, Jeremy's got green. green. That's not even Jeremy. <laughs> it was melon flavor. I've had it before. Yeah. On the podcast. It's just been a while. It's a drink podcast. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know, so I was I was like half asleep, right? And uh, YouTube was just running in the background. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it was like the kind of funny morning show maybe or the kind of kind of funny games daily or something on kind of funny. Right. And they were like, Let's get some housekeeping out of the way and I was like, That sounds familiar. <laughs> I'm like, Did I did I do I did I take that from them? The answer is probably yes. <laughs> right. But then Unintentionally. But then they go to a clip. That, where, where it's uh, Tommy Boy and they get the housekeeping oh, yeah. and it, I was like fuck me now it's like now it really sounds like we stole it from them oh because I always say because you always say housekeeping well, I always thought you, you did it when because you of Chris Folly no yeah, but, that's why oh. I was, but but they actually yeah that's, really, they, that's they totally why the clip into I their show now mm. so uh, so if you do happen to watch kind of funny tell them we said hello. <laughs> uh, and, and that we didn't mean to steal anything although let's be honest we stole the entire format from the show from the original podcast beyond. <laughs> Beyond. Now, Beyond. <laughs> let's get some housekeeping out of the way. Housekeeping! Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first thing we want to do is make sure that if you are a loyal game cat, <laughs> head, on over to, uh, head on over to your PlayStation 4, the, the machine that you connect your PlayStation VR to, yeah. the thing that plays the actual game. You hook it up to the TV, and you might notice that next to the profile and the settings and all that other garbage there that you, you don't really need, there's a thing, a little tab that says community. Yep. And on the community tab, you can search for our community called PSVR without parole game cats. All one word. Well, game cats all is all one word. It's not super califragilistic XPL. Dose just one word. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Um, this kid, uh, one, another comment I saw, man, I, I, I probably just deleted it. I don't think I kept him around. Um, I, <laughs> one he, of them. One of those. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, 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 you know, the nice guys. Uh, yeah. he, he was like, he was like, like, you're just a petty YouTuber. You're not funny. You're not famous. Shut up and answer the question. Wow. Well, he's not a very nice so, person. So I dedicate this episode to you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, so go over to our community. 
it's, it's it really is like the, the loyalist best, of the loyalist. Oh yeah, the best it's, community. Absolutely. Yeah. The ten percent. It is. It's always ten yeah. percent. Always. We got fifteen thousand subscribers. There's fifteen hundred over there on the community. Yep. And what's the reason to go to the community, Jeremy? Doctor Doom and great conversations Actually, with Doctor Doom is a great reason to do it. He anything. is. Yeah. 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 He greets right? you. Everybody there. He is greets you awesome. at the door. Yep. It's the most wonderful time. Yeah. The community is great. They're so positive. No, no. You know? Coffee we're really far away from that time. <laughs> Eight goddamn minutes. Yeah. So uh, at uh, least. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as it turns out, last week on the uh, on the PlayStation Store, we filmed on Monday last week. Yeah. And so there was this constant question during the entire yeah, like what's, what's the entire happen? episode. Yeah. We're like, okay, so Sony's really bad about keeping us in the loop about like what games yeah. are coming to the PlayStation Store. And when no games were listed on the drop, we're like, uh, I don't know if any VR games are coming out this week. Yeah. Turns out. No VR games came out last week, mm-hmm. which is wildly, wildly different than what happened this week. Yes. Yeah. Quite the opposite. In, prep- mm-hmm. in preparation for this week, I, I, got, I did my Polybius re-review. I saw that, yeah. I don't know if you guys saw yeah. it, uh, but, but, but Monday on the channel was Polybius Day, uh, mm-hmm. our <laughs> homage to Jeff Minter, the great game creator. Uh, I re-reviewed Polybius, the only time I've ever done that. Yep. I'd like to do it more often, uh, but I was wrong. That was your first time? Yeah. It was, something. yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, yeah. Most of the time, when something gets like some good updates or some good patches, I'll, I'll do a let's play right. and, and like kind of show off the, the new elements of, of the game. Uh, or if it's big enough, or if it's reason enough to go back, then Des and I will both do an entire episode of why we love PlayStation VR about it. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but yeah, no, Polybius. Polybius was just me, not kind of like I, know, I guess being misinformed about a game and not enjoying it as much as I should have, uh, or maybe forming an opinion too early on it right. uh, and, and knowing full well for the last year that I liked it more than the review said sure. it, it was time to go back and, and give it the yeah. treatment it deserved and then to time it with the episode of why we love Polybius it's fucking perfect it perfect. was Polybius day yeah <laughs> so but this week oh Jesus Christ so much this week I wrote, I wrote on the run of show last week nothing this week yeah. everything <laughs> everything uh, so the first game uh, that came to the store this week was Just In Time Incorporated, yep. a game where you uh, play as an insurance adjuster, where you try to save your clients from death to save your company money. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Uh, also, Dead Secret came to the store. Uh, it was a first-person uh, kind of horror point-and-click adventure game. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to pick that up, it's 20% off right now uh, play- right. with PlayStation Plus. I'm trying to get all the sale information into this. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. The weekly wrap up. Also, Code Fifty One Mecha Arena came out today. Uh, that's also going to be twenty percent off. Um, nice. Yeah, for plus for plus members and for non plus members, it's ten percent off. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's everything that came out today. Oh, wait, except for uh, Very VR Wild Encounters for twenty bucks. Yeah, what is that one? Well, we've checked out Very VR I think before. We watched. Oh, but we've never checked out Very <laughs> VR <laughs> Wild Encounters. See, I, I knew that. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's why. But, I've purchased Very VR. Yeah, I did a let's play of it. I played it extensively. I it's think. just it's just a lot of like live feed 360 stuff from like Africa or something. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, I watched a bunch of stuff, and I was like, this is kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. But then this pops up out of nowhere for e- even more money. Okay. Mm-hmm. With no explanation as to how it relates to the original Very VR. Yeah. Like, why isn't this just? Is I don't. I don't know. So yeah. if I don't know, very few people probably know. Probably yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Maybe you encounter some wild things. I guess. Yeah, they just like set up a bunch of cameras and yeah, right. So and, we... you, and you can see the um, the animals actually coming up and everything. And uh, it is a neat idea. But is it but actual what is, but VR what is... or is it more just it's, that it's 360? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all. It's 360 video. But the question is, is what is this one doing that the original one's not? Are they just trying to make more money off of these people or what? Uh, yeah, that kind of. Not totally sure. And we all find Seems out. Seems to be. Uh, maybe we won't, though. Maybe we're just yeah, gonna maybe let, we won't. We're going to let, let this one just like, by. Yeah. fade into the background. And we'll right? never know. Yeah. Uh, but this is going to be the one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, on Thursday, the 26th, we get two more games. The first one is Dream Angling, which is the weirdest fishing game of all time. It's like a dream fishing game where you collect memories in your by bedroom, fishing. right? There okay. was one scene in your bedroom, you're fishing, right? It's it's weird. It's shrunk down, you're like small. There's like toy blocks everywhere. Yeah, and yeah it's sort yeah. So like you're in a dream as you're fishing, collecting dreams. Or? It's, it's weird. I've played for all of five minutes, so I could capture some footage uh, for PSVR this week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This week. Just this week. And uh, and I and I was and I, 
I caught three fish and then I was bored. And I was like, I don't think I want to do this anymore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And also, like, I've never been fishing. Have you been fishing? Oh, yeah. Have you been fishing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, then you guys can answer this question. <laughs> um, in Fishing Master, yes. I, 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 I throw, you know, toss the line out there. Whatever you do. Mm-hmm. Cast. Cast. Cast the, the line. Cast the line. Toss the line out and give it slack and throw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Damn it. There goes the pole. <laughs> <laughs> and then I hit the trigger and it reels it in. Okay. Okay. And then there's Monster of the Deep, where... I, like everything feels right, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I I cast the line. There you go. Yeah. And then I, yeah. and then I do one of these things. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. Is this the right motion? For, forward. Well, this way. Okay. To see, reel it in. The entire time. Well, I'm you playing... can set that up differently, can you not? You can. You can yeah. set that and, any and way you it want. Can be, you can have a left-handed pull, right-handed. Yeah. You're, now's a lefty, it, so whatever I whatever way you want, really. My Shimano Quick Fire Two pull probably came out in like '88. So, <laughs> so the, the reason I asked was because in Monster of the Deep. I just did it the way I thought I should do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it worked perfectly. Mm-hmm. And it was the forward motion. Right. Mm-hmm. Or maybe forward motion. I don't, I don't know. And um, and then this one, Dream Angling, like for the first five minutes I played this game, I was like, how come these fish aren't getting any closer? And then you started And then I was like, oh, the oh no, no, they're coming right up. This yeah. is way easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, okay. I, I didn't realize. I didn't know if like the game was weird or if I was weird, but I think the A answer is column A and column B. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then we got MLB Home Run Derby VR, which obviously we can't show any footage of because nope. because they MLB not let that happen. MLB will not let this episode mm-hmm. air in Japan at all if we use any of the footage from that trailer. Strange, stupid. Yeah, we're trying to advertise for them and yeah. like, right. like, please don't do that, yeah. sir. You we don't they need it. Okay, want to yeah. show off the game? But. Yeah, right. So, but we are very curious about that. Even if in, not a, not a sports fan, but I mean, just standing in a stadium. It's called a stadium, right? That, well, I'm not a sport <laughs> person. It has to reel in the stadium. But it is a stadium. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. You're like, yes, Brian, it's a stadium. <laughs> mm-hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a football stadium. It's also a baseball stadium. Mm-hmm. I believe so. What? What's an arena? Hockey arena? Hockey rink. Hockey rink. Hockey rink. Though so also arena? an arena? Field? I don't what's know. What's the difference between Soccer. arena and a... Uh, rink and arena? I don't know. Clearly, we're not a sports podcast. Yeah, I don't know. All right. And then finally, also, on, we have with re- the strangest release date ever, is Saturday the 28th. I don't think we've ever on gotten a, a VR game on a Saturday. No. Or any game on a Saturday. And that's huh. Rage Room. Uh, we don't know if this date is correct, but this is the one everyone's running with, so we're going to go with it until Maybe it doesn't show up. People need to beat up dummies on a Saturday after a full, stressful week of work. And that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Basically, uh, actually, you know what? If you're curious about Rage Room, we're going to check it out tomorrow, tomorrow on Theater. Theater. What do you think, Michelle? I think that we should begin this episode the way we begin every episode, with a little game of should we or shouldn't we. Put 90 seconds on the clock. That's, 90. that's not getting easier yet either. Mm. I keep wanting to say 60. In yeah. my head while you're saying it, I'm thinking 60. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, she fucked it up again. <laughs> 90 <laughs> seconds on the clock, clock up on the counter the way that Jeremy likes it. Pop. I don't think it should pop. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably not a good sign. Checked out. Yeah. And we have 90 seconds to tell you what we have been playing. Tell who? The loyal game cats. <laughs> playing or watching, and whether you should be also playing or watching. Should Jeremy, be. would you like to go first? On your mark, sure. get set, and oh, go. Okay. First, I would like to talk about the, uh, you know, where is it? Eh, just in time. Incorporated. Incorporated. Mm-hmm. So I did get to play Damn this it. title. And um, so. <laughs> You've got plenty to talk about. Yes, yeah. you don't know. I enjoyed it. I, from what I played, seconds in. I had found that you know, so you got the gloves, your gloves that can slow down time. I think what was it, ten percent or something like that, and. You should start the uh, clock over. Yeah. Do you want them? Nope. So uh, <laughs> you get these gloves, and these gloves they send you back to where your clients die. You know, you have this hub area, this office. You walk up to various clipboards. First, it's teleportation to these areas. Um, you grab a clipboard and then you, you press the play to do the scenario and save the client. However, it says they're going to die. Um, I found that, you know, like the first one was just helping the guy that is going to get stabbed mm-hmm. in the back alley. So it gives you an idea of, you know, you got to figure out a way to save this guy, kill him. Long story short, I found the more I, I at first I was like kind of done with the game after a few tries. But then I was like... No, I kept pr- trying new ones, and there's different ways to kill things, and you get better. You can grab bullets and turn them on the enemy and then shoot like you were saving the president's life. Yeah. So one time I did it, and he fucking From got, the hippie? He got killed. <laughs> you know, yeah. He got killed. The president was dead. So I'm like, all right, so I got to figure out. Now I got to do this. So the next time the guy came through the door to shoot, <clears throat> I grabbed the bullets and shot him again. 
I'm ignoring that. Yep. And then he fired again because obviously I grabbed the bullet, aimed towards him, and the bullet was traveling, but he had already fired another bullet. So I grabbed that bullet and deterred it, and I saved the president's life. So here's here's my question, because mm-hmm. I've, I've spent a very limited amount of time with this game. Desra's on the review for this, so uh, mm-hmm. every, every time that happens, it means I don't know shit about it. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've played the first three little scenarios, mm-hmm. and I love the concept. Yeah. I love the idea of like you know the the nightclub owner is like this this guy's running up and he's gonna mm-hmm. get and, and this guy's gonna stab him right mm-hmm. right so I was like well obviously like these gloves slow slow down time mm-hmm. right by tenfold yeah okay? and so I'm like well I'm just gonna take the knife out of his hand and I did that and then he starts running away and I was like well I want to kill this yeah, guy yeah. sitting in front of him and it's like <laughs> jabbed him with the knife yeah I was like that was fun yeah but in a game like this where like that was my first reaction I was like I'm gonna take the knife from him and stab him yeah there must be a ton of solutions. There's yes. a lot of different There's things. There's a lot of different ways. Yeah. That's what I was curious about. I was like, is there only one solution to each puzzle? No. No. That's awesome. There was one with a bunch of um, rodents of unusual size pouring through the room. I can't pa- I can't get past that, that one That was yet. the one that made me be like, That's I'm, I'm done one. with this game. Oh. And then I finally figured a way. The more you do it, the more and more things. So I like threw all these mouse traps so- everywhere, throw the chemicals at them, burning all explode. these rats. Yeah. Finally, everything in the room was gone. And there was one big one because one certain point poison makes the rats bigger which i didn't realize until they got bigger after throwing oh, them. that's what was happening so i was wondering were, why they were growing <laughs> there were actually two rats left one big one one small one there, there's and a I document kept... in the room that actually shows what the different yeah i didn't bother. yeah, chemicals yeah, did. yeah. No. yeah. No, okay. <laughs> and they kept running to the scientists i just kept grabbing them and throwing them further away so that's i could what be like I what doing. am i gonna do hmm. so finally i ran over and get the axe off the wall and i killed them and i I passed it, and that's where I ended up doing. That's more how levels. I beat that. At, I beat that level that exact same way because yeah. I tried it two or three times, and I was like, yeah. these, "These chemicals must do something." Yeah. And one of them, yeah, like making them all grow big, and one yeah. of them was like blowing them up. But there wasn't enough of any of them to no. do anything. No. So I went and grabbed the axe and just killed everyone the, separately. I threw all the mouse traps down first in front of the, the door. yeah the, the scientist. Yeah. Yeah. The no, in front steps. of the scientist. Yeah. So I'll have that covered first, and then I'll go over to okay. the door and throw the chemicals on that side. Yeah. Um. Clearly, it's not the way to go, though, because I haven't Still passed that work. one yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it was fun. It, I, I definitely. It's a should we? Yeah, it's definitely a should we. Fifteen dollars. Uh, did not did not get the twenty percent discount like the other games today. Worth the uh, fifteen bucks. Yeah. If I yeah if I had to pay for it. Yeah. I, I gotta say, initial impressions. I when we watched the trailer, I was like, oh god, not another game that looks like Minecraft. Not another game that looks like right. uh, out of ammo. Yeah. Right. But. It really works in this game. It's better. It's yeah. smoother. Like when you're in the office and the people are walking around, it's not Minecraft. Yeah. It's a little better than that, and it works in the setting yep. big time. It's, it was really good. Yeah. Or should we? Are you ready? Shall. Yeah. On your mark. Get set. Go. I'm just going to keep talking about this game for a second. Yeah. Um, did you unlock the bonus levels yet? Yes. Yes. So those were a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, you had to go one. in and save a bunch of cats from the uh, the burning building. Um one of my favorites was you had to kill all the grandpas around grandma. The oh, grandpas, really? there was like eight of them, and they were all coming at her with a knife. It was actually ter- it was really terrible. We're not spoiling too much, are we? Uh, I doubt it on these. Oh, I don't, I don't, yeah, maybe. Right. Is it? Yeah. So... I mean, it's not a long game, so we're already. T- it's we're not that long, but, I, the but there's so many other um, like rooms to unlock. Half, though. It's a couple. It's a couple hours. Oh, I thought most. it would have been more. You yeah. can, I think, do so many things that there's no spoiling it. So the way she would protect these, uh, the grandma. It right. would be totally would be different. different from right. anybody else. Okay. I was just curious. I, yeah. I said I haven't gotten too far into it. Okay. Um, all right, then I'll stop talking about it because now I'm a little worried that I'm going to spoil <laughs> something else. But uh, yeah, definitely a Should We. That was a fantastic game. Loved yeah. it. Um, also played Code 51. Um, it was absolute Should We once again. Oh, wow. um, I loved that game a lot. It definitely needs a little bit of work, um, but from what I've played so far, it was phenomenal. You walk around in a big, like, Mecca like a robot dude and Mecca, Mecca, Mecca. Yeah. you get to unlock Mecca? Mecca. Mecca. you get to unlock Mecca. different Mecca. ones uh, so they have Mecca. different ways Mecca. of uh, shooting Mecca. and killing Mecca. people but um, there's a online mode and it was funny because when I first signed on and I was playing and I was absolutely and all what right, were you going. absolutely uh, I got in suspense yeah. all right, go ahead. absolutely killing it I was doing so well I was getting uh my best record was uh, 13 kills, uh, zero deaths. And I was just, uh, what, what did he, s- they were like, holy shit. There was like a crazy mode, you, you know, like, um, what did they say? Triple kill or something like that. It, and, uh, yeah, the, the sound effects are ridiculous. Um, yeah. And then there's just like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
And then I played an online one and I saw that Lewis Knight was on. And I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to show off my awesome ability to be amazing at this game. And I had unlocked a new robot and was absolutely terrible with him. And I did the worst play that I had done in the entire game and was so bummed. (laughs) Because I'm like, damn it, now he thinks that I suck. (laughs) So I'm going to definitely go back and play that this week. That was phenomenal. Nice. Are you ready? Two should we. Two should we so far. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm ready. Uh, let me just bring this up back up here. On my mark, get, get set. set. Go. All right. Uh, yeah, real quick. I, I played a ton of Code 51 this week as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and, and it was fun because... Uh, Dave Station and I were the only two playing for a while. I know that a bunch of people had review keys and stuff, but to get everyone playing mm-hmm. at the same time was fucking... I saw you guys posted that, actually, you guys both playing. Yeah. Yeah, Dave Station posted a video of him killing me uh, in, uh, <laughs> yeah. over and over and over, and then in my review, I only took clips of me killing him. That's I fantastic. thought it was only fair. <laughs> Uh, and, but but that's the thing is that you know I was only playing against him for a while and then like uh, and then the night before uh, the game came Christmas? out I was playing uh, I was playing with the developers there were two different guys online that were totally kicking my ass constantly right. and then it wasn't until like a little bit later on Reddit uh, they were like hey we saw you online and we totally kicked your ass you play like shit <laughs> and I was like wow you're awesome um, damn it <laughs> but no it was, it was funny though so it was nice to it was nice for the game to actually get out there in the wild today and to be able to I jumped online the second it came out and Justin Parada. Lewis Knight and uh, God, I hope I don't script it. That guy is Will. Mm-hmm. I think that I think that's his name. He just added me as a friend. Loyal Game Cat. That was just as I was logging off to come here. It yeah. was right when you all logged on. <laughs> so, uh, so I, so it was nice to be able to play with some of the Game Cats and mm-hmm. get my ass kicked by them. I've yeah. been playing for a couple of days and they were just starting and uh, and I still didn't still didn't have a chance yeah yeah uh but i do i uh, want to go way past my allotted time here to talk a little bit about dead secret because okay. dead secret is uh it's, it's about a two hour point and click wow that's the second time you've done that wow to your right on time just in time <laughs> uh so dead secret dead secret is actually really interesting because it's, it's something that you would never suspect in vr to work well like well, first person point and click adventure game mm-hmm. with a ton of reading Right, mm-hmm. newspapers and articles and, um, and and journal entries and letters and all this stuff. And you're like, I, I don't want to review today. I don't want to read in VR, but man, like this, it's fine. Like yeah. they, they they've really the developers really figured out how to make text really legible. Mm-hmm. Um, something something along the lines of like every time you pick up a newspaper no. uh, or a letter, the game actually renders that scene in double the resolution. All right, oh. something along those lines. So standard PS4, yeah, you know, on standard PS4, it looks great. Okay, it's it's crazy. You can play in non VR, by the way. Don't do that. Um, I, I was actually I was actually on edge because I was like, because it's not because you're investigating somebody's death. Okay, but the entire time there's like a killer after you. Um, so, oh, so okay, some little suspense going a little on. Little suspense. Too. Yeah. Uh, so so I wouldn't even watch honestly my let's play because you don't want to ruin anything. It's only about a two hour game, and I played it for about an hour on my let's play. So okay. Just, just buy it. It's definitely a should we, and especially with a twenty percent discount. It's like twelve bucks or something like that. Yeah. it's ridiculously cheap. Wow. Um, all should we's this week, uh, yeah. except yeah, for very awesome. VR wild encounters. We have no idea. What's no going idea. Going a bunch of uh, a bunch of news to take care of though this week as well. Mm-hmm. Um, Dream Match Tennis VR got announced. You know, this, the interesting thing about this, besides the fact that it's coming in summer and it looks like it's a great tennis game, yeah. is mm-hmm. that it's the first game that we've got on PlayStation VR that actually uses the PlayStation 3 navigation controller. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People have been saying for like a year and a half, like, how come they don't support this? They got the move controllers, but we get these extra controllers sitting yeah. around. And right. I got to be honest, I don't really care if they support it or not because I plugged mine in and both of them are dead. Oh. Yeah. They won't hold the charge. Oh. Sad. Send me new I haven't plugged one in and since probably a week after I bought it and realized I don't have much use for it. Do you still have them? I do have one, yeah. Perfect. You can play tennis with me. Yeah, I would. Nice. Are you, so are you going to get, you're going to go and buy and Yeah, one. yeah. I mean, I, I, the fact is this game's not out yet. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm pretty sure I can probably, for just a couple bucks, I can grab, a, grab one. like an old nav controller on that eBay. Be, they utilize that for shooters in games to have the analogical, the analogical analog wow. movements. <laughs> I wonder if that would work. See, here, here's my problem with that, right? Yeah. It's, I don't know, man. It's like I, I, a lot of people have been going on and on and on about how this would be amazing. We really need this, and the, but but most games use both move controllers, mm-hmm. right? 
And, and, and because of that, you've got two hands that are moving like this. Yeah. The second you remove one of those hands and replace it with a nav controller, you've got one hand. Yep. And, and now an analog stick. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, do you, do, you, do you want to sacrifice that hand for an analog stick? I, you know, I know it's it's one of those things, but for decades we've been so I mean, used to those fixed, <laughs> you know, hand movement yeah. looking th when you're playing the game. And I know VR makes it different and more immersive, and that's going to take the immersion out of it in a way. Right. But um, who knows? Maybe they can utilize it and have it work in a way where it still yeah, maybe has they make it work and a tool somehow. So it seems like you have that freedom of movement. Yeah, I'm okay either uh, way. Like if they, like I, I, I love options. Yeah, right. right. I, I want everybody to have the options that they want to use. But for me, I'm like, if, if if it requires analog sticks, give me the fucking DualShock Four. No, does it I'm require like you can't play this game without them? Oh uh, no, it's it's an option. Just an option. Okay. Yeah. yeah anyone who's Just got you know that. two move controllers or, or okay, I, very good. I, I don't know how DualShock Four support. I can't imagine that would be a thing. I wonder how it'll move the around the tennis rink without the uh, the the tennis arena court court. Thank <laughs> you, Brian. I'm the sports guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, what do you mean? With two move controls as opposed to the one analog, because I figured that was making your character move around so you could... Yeah. So the other one, just the same way you move with everything else, like probably the, probably the face buttons. Like, yeah. You know, X and circle, maybe move you left and right. Like click turning, kind of? Yeah. No. Just, or just actually well, you, moving it, around. Luckily in tennis, you're always facing the same direction. That you you never have to actually turn right. in tennis. You yeah. just turn your head to see the ball. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. Right. Maybe it's just forward, and left and right movements. Left and, left and right, up and down. That's all yeah. you need. And there's, and there's right. four yeah. buttons on the... Maybe it's not... Fine. I figured you could run all over the court, you know? Yeah. yeah we'll see, I, I guess. Don't know. I'm sure it'll be fine. We've, we've, gotten, we've gotten plenty of games that use full locomotion and two move mm -hmm. controllers. That is true. That if they can't figure out how to move around the tennis court... Yeah. We'll make it happen. Then they've got bigger issues than that. Yep. Uh, so Dream Match Tennis VR is coming this summer um, with navigational control support. Also, uh, uh, Snail Games announced that there's going to be an Arc Park update. Arc Park. Yep. Park, 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 Any any day now is going to be a full locomotion patch. Yep. Which will make the game I mean, maybe slightly better. Yeah. Right. It just it, it 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 strips away one of the level le layers of of. of oh, you really didn't like the game, huh? I so here's the thing. After I spent like a ridiculous, I spent like eight hours with Arc Park before I Arc Park 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 <laughs> before I reviewed it, and I was like, "There's got to be a good game in here somewhere." Yes. And it was kind of Stockholm syndrome, like like after eight hours, yeah. I was like, "Oh, I think I'm actually enjoying this gameplay loop." I'm like, "I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna go mine some things, and I'm gonna go like get the materials I need, and then eventually I'm gonna go you know uh, go make a new gun, and then I'm gonna go right. shoot some dinosaurs." You know, it's like that's the gameplay loop. Yep. And I and I started sounds, to enjoy fun. <laughs> it. Yeah, it was pretty decent, right? But it's it, but it was way too expensive. And in the fact that there's just like all these layers of, of crap that you have to get through. And, and one of the layers of crap is the horrible movement system. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just teleportation. It's it's hold down the move button. Yeah. Right? That creates the little the little yeah. arc, you know? And then you have to turn your head to decide you're not pointing with the move controller where you wanna where you wanna to teleport to. You're Easy. looking with yeah. your head where yeah. you wanna to teleport to. You're like, this is stupid already. And then to decide which direction you want to face once you're done teleporting, you have to draw a circle with the move controller. Oh, and what? That, and that changes the direction That's of the circle. Interesting. Yeah. So you face the right direction when you land. And I was like, this requires way too much just to move around. I yeah. just want to go over there. Right. I'm yeah. like, and I should be able to just push a button and walk that way. Right. Right. Yeah. And instead, they're like, do this and then draw a circle and then turn your head. And it's like, what's going on? Don't yeah. worry. That guy is now cleaning to uh, toilets at that uh, I hope it's not Lloyd. studio. No, Lloyd is no, he's not. Still he's still working hard. Still going hard. Yeah. Lloyd's job is secure. Yeah, he's, yes. he's in there. Uh, so, and then, and then, uh, I, I really hope that this graphics. Uh, so, the locomotion patch is going to drop any day, and then mid May, I think they're saying mm -hmm. uh, we're going to get a, a like a serious graphical upgrade. Yep. For PS4 and PS4 Pro VR. Um, very what curious. What that means? Because you said off in the distance, everything looked great too. It just looks flat. Yeah, so the whole thing is going to make it more VR ish. I is, hope so. You know, because yeah. that would be making it better. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's what you're looking yeah. for in a VR game. Yeah. Is not, th not things to be flat, that's for sure. Right. So. But this stuff that they're that they're fixing is all like pretty, you know, surface level stuff. Yeah. It's like here's how to, you can get around the game better. The, yeah. the game's gonna look better. Yeah. I'm like, but but I need I need. It's like tidying up your shack. It's still a fucking shack. Yeah, I need the game to be better. <laughs> like they, they they need to add more environments. They need to add more weapons to be able to craft. They, there's there's a whole lot more that they need to fix with this game. Right. They're gonna so, make a game. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully this is just the beginning. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because they've got a long long way to go. Wow. 
I, and then I reached out to the Agony developers this week as well um, because everyone's been like, oh, it's coming to PlayStation VR. It's coming to PlayStation VR. When is it, when's Agony coming to PlayStation VR? Oh, my God, Agony is the game I'm looking forward to the most in PlayStation VR. And then I'm like, oh, guys, no, sorry about this, but it might not be coming to PlayStation VR. Because uh, that, that, that totally sucks, man. Like, yeah. Um, this and uh, God, Visage. Mm-hmm. Like, these, are, these are games that might come to PlayStation VR. But but there's absolutely no guarantee. Maybe right now. to be announced. If so, E3? not for a while. Yeah, they're looking into it right now. The game's actually coming out in like a month or two. Yeah, uh, I've got I've got mine reserved uh, or, or pre-ordered on Amazon. Mm-hmm. It's not too much with the uh, with the Amazon Prime discount. It's like thirty two bucks. Okay, it's a so forty dollars. Forty. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then just just so you guys know, uh, we're trying to keep you updated on sales, but but as of this filming. What is something funky's going on in the PlayStation Network, and, and their whole sales section is like down. Really? Um, yeah, it was like, of course, the first day I wanted to implement sales into the wrap up, and uh, so the only one, I, the only one that's really worth mentioning is that Killing Four Incursion uh, is uh, twenty three ninety nine uh, if you pre order it before it comes out on the first. Uh, so that's. But sales is down. Does I mean it's gonna? I mean they're gonna keep the sale longer because they're kind of messing up right now. No. This that's is this is this is the day they intru- <laughs> like the, this is the day nice. they introduce new sales and so yeah. whoever is in charge over there of updating the PlayStation store is like asleep at the wheel. Yeah. Okay. So they, Great. I'm sure by the time He didn't have his coffee that day. Way wow. way before this yeah. episode airs, all the deals will be up on the store, but currently we don't have that information. Okay. Well then. And I think that pretty much wraps up the wrap up. Nice. Yep. Nicely done. Mm. Hmm. 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 That shack is all tidy. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still a fucking shack. It is. All right, you guys, make sure you come back tomorrow for the best 20 minutes of your week PlayStation VR theater. theater. As always, my name is Brian. That's Jeremy. And this is Michelle. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. You always cut that out. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I wanted to... Some, I, someday you should um, edit all of them together of him being like, ciao, bye, bye. Ciao. bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like a whole 10 minutes of him doing that. I didn't think I would uh, talk about Just In Time Incorporated for so long because yeah. I did want to actually touch upon God of War. Did you play that? I did. Yeah. So... Um, Everyone's... Every, raving about I, well, that right now. That's the this, thing. This is Jeremy's review corner. <laughs> Please tell us about G.O.W. Well, because, you know, I noticed that a lot of people on my friends list Mm-mm. that are Whoa. part of the game cat community <laughs> are playing God of War. There's no doubt. Yeah, you know? right. everyone's playing. Yeah. Yep. And so the other night I tried it for a few minutes and um, I didn't play much. I just wanted to sample it. And I was like, all right. It's kind of like how when they rebooted Tomb Raider. You know, it, it kind of was like that format. And, and it's very similar in a sense. You know, how you, it's more of the over-the-shoulder kind of view. Kratos, if I, I don't even know if that's the name he's going by now. I haven't gotten that far in. Um, the gameplay is definitely totally different. And I don't think I was looking at it as a god of, or the type of game it actually is when I right. first started playing it. Um, so I sampled it. And the story seems like it could go somewhere pretty well. Graphically, it looks fantastic. Yeah, all my friends are raving about it. Oh, I was yeah. actually talking. Um, I came home from work last night, and my second floor neighbor was like, "Oh my god, have you played God of War yet?" Yeah. And he's just starting going off about it. So I he's played having a great more time. today, like a good forty-five minutes to an hour of it. And I gotta say, now I'm I'm pretty much getting hooked. Yeah, the story is unfolding. Um, and I realize this game is more of an exploration type of game, and finding collectibles and there's things out there and environments that you can maybe not access now but go back to later. And uh, I'm upset to the fact that I passed by this temple area and didn't explore it because I can't go back to it right now. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know. This game seems disgustingly awesome. So, so like far. fast travel and stuff like that. Oh, I haven't it? gotten to that point yet. If it is, yeah. Um, it sure sounds like my kind of game. Like Horizon, except in God of War, you got the axe instead of your blade thing. So you got an axe you can just throw and call it back to you. High, uh, heavy and light attacks. Yeah. Um, you can punch, which will stun. Your son will just shoot the arrows, which will stun him as well. Um, so you guys work in you know with each other. Um, yeah, I don't want to go too much on it, but yeah. Anyways, so far it's it's pretty fucking That's awesome. Pretty awesome. Yeah, across the board, this game's getting called like already game of the year material. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 